Monday, we finally did it. We've hit the lowest rated Raw, or the least watched Raw of all Both. time. Both. Both. My Both God. Low, lowest rated, least watched. Um, the only, um, but it was not the lowest in 18 to 49. It was the second lowest. Second lowest ever in 18 to 49. Right. The May 4th one was, was lower. But aside from that, yeah, it was the lowest rated. It was the lowest viewed. Um, it was a very, it was a very low number. Not surprising. Um, it had all the signs of being a low number going in, although not quite that low. I will say. I mean, it, you know, it went from the low all time low of, of one million six hundred eighty two thousand to one million five hundred sixty one thousand. That's a pretty big drop. You know, it's a drop of one hundred twenty one thousand viewers um, from an old record. So that's pretty significant. This was the go home show. Mm hmm. Yep, for, for the Saturday's Extreme Rules for, Sunday, show. for Sunday's pay per view. Yeah, I don't think that that uh, pluck in the eye out thing um, is is has been that successful of a program. I'm not blaming it on any one thing. It's a combination of a lot of things. Um, you know, probably I don't know. Probably just you know, pandemic and not not having crowds and angles not clicking. Um, you know, all kinds of different things, I'm sure. I think show sucking is probably largely at the top of the list here. I mean, it's sucked for for a long time, so it's going to gradually go down. But it's going it's going down at a faster than gradual level, I will say that. But I think all I think all wrestling is going to is kind of slowly going down, but but this one's Raw and SmackDown have, have, have you know, Raw and SmackDown the last 2 weeks have been pretty bad. But you know, the the shows have been bad. Um, but it's, you know, I mean, a bad show isn't going to necessarily mean a bad rating because a good show can do a bad rating all, and that happens all the time, but it's the pattern and, you know, the pattern is a pattern of declines and this was a big decline. Um, and it doesn't really even have, like, we don't even really have good excuses. It's not like the news was any bigger and it's not like there's any competing sports events. So just wait, just wait for a couple weeks. You think these numbers are bad? Wait till football starts. You think that 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 that, that they're not going to be lower than this during football season? They're going to be way lower than this. I think it's not so much that the show is bad, but rather that the show is not interesting. I mean, it's, it's predictable. Big the, shows um, all over the show. Nothing against the big show, but big show debuted in 1998, and you know we've 19, got a Dolph. 19, isn't isn't it like 1996? Well, I mean, I'm talking about WWE. Oh, okay. We've been there since 98. And, you know, Dolph yeah. Ziggler debuted in 2007. He's headlining a pay-per-view this weekend. I mean, who's... Well, that's not, that's not, as, that's not as bad if he hadn't been devalued so much. But, but he has been. That's the point. Like, yeah, yeah. Well, of course. Dolph I mean, Ziggler is headlining this show. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's... there's I mean... Bray they're, White they're, and Braun Strowman again. I mean, yeah, that, that look, feud sucks. Yeah, look, their, their their booking doesn't get people over. I mean, that's been the case for a while. They haven't made look. Who was the last big star made? I mean, I mean, I guess you could say Roman Reigns and Bray Wyatt, but they're not. You know, I wouldn't even say Bray. Like Roman Reigns is the last big star created that moved numbers. Like people love Bray's character, but his matches are no good. The booking is lame. I, I see no evidence that he's any more over than anybody else outside of people liking the He character. sells a lot of merch. Well, I don't know if he does now. No, because no one's selling a lot of merch now because the, the buildings are closed. But he was he was selling a lot of merch. Roman Reigns was selling a decent amount of merch, too. Uh, but, you know, whatever. The, you know, but still, they're, 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 not making, they're not making new stars. But, you know, it's, there's a, I'll tell you what, there's, there's two things that, that um, and this is not the only reason, but, Obviously, what's they, they do not appeal to kids, um, you know, at, at, at any I mean, I'm not saying that there aren't kids who are wrestling fans. There's always going to be kids who are wrestling fans. But the number of kids who are wrestling fans is minuscule compared to, you know, when I was a kid or when you were a kid or when anyone else was a kid up until the last 10 years when it started really going down. And that is under John Cena, by the way, not, at, you know, just but, but I think John Cena probably slowed the decline some, but. The decline was there that whole time, but so so it's it's so your audience is much older, but they make it that way because their mindset is so old. I'll tell you, there's two things that that I saw, and this doesn't have to directly do with ratings at all, 
but it absolutely has to do with the mindset there. Okay. Remember when the, on Friday and that, aside from the fact of how terrible the, the karaoke segment was, the songs, it's like, let's, let's do popular songs. And it's like the freaking honky tonk man song. It's like 35 years old, 34 years old, um, whatever. Um, the dusty song, which is 32 years old or 31 years, 31 years old, I think. And then, um, what was the other one? Um, I mean the, the triple H song, triple which H is, song, triple H song, which is not nearly as old. And then there was, um, there was one other one that was really old. I, I don't even remember who it was off the top of my head. Um, oh, Jeff Jarrett's song. So that's like 25 maybe years old, something like that. So I mean, the point is, is like, this is ancient history. I mean, and, and, and they, they, they always do it. Like when they bring people back, they bring the old stars back. And the old stars back are fine if their role is to make new stars. But they're not. Their role is to be these stars. And, and the new stars' role is to not be stars. They don't let anyone become stars. The other one is I was watching. It's actually on NXT tonight. So I'm watching NXT, and they had a commercial for USA Network and Raw. And the commercial is all of these clips from like 10 and 20 years ago. I mean, nothing current. It's all, it's like you're, you, and it's the constant reinforcement, you know, like AJ Styles. Well, you wouldn't even have been a star when we had real stars here, you know, in that Undertaker promo. And it's like, you know, aside from the fact that, I mean, it's true because of the size phobia back then. So he wouldn't have been, but from a talent standpoint, he was as talented as anyone that they've ever had at any point in time. But, you, you know, I mean, just the fact, you you know, they keep reinforcing that this year, you know, it used to be great and wrestling used to be hot and everything. They, they you know, there's nothing wrong with, like, promoting your history, but you need to promote your current as being more important than your history. And they promote their current as not being important at all. And essentially what they've got, I mean, let's face it, these numbers would be much lower. What happened was in... um you know, the late 90s when you had Austin Rock and Mick Foley and Triple H and all those guys when they were, you know, all kind of hitting big at the same time. Well, Triple H was a little bit later, but you know what I mean. But um, they grew the audience so much. And what, you know, for the most part, since 2001, it's been a decline. And, you know, it's been a slow decline, but it's been a, it's been a decline for 19 for not 19 straight years, but probably I'm going to, I'm going to guess probably 16 out of those 19 years were declining years as far as actual popularity. Um, and so, you know, you're basically existing off the fumes of your once greatness. If they didn't have that boom period, we'd be existing off the fumes of mid nineties, which were a disaster for popularity. So, you know, and I mean, look at the fan base. So, so, um, I did not get the average age of raw. Okay, but I do did get last week's average age of SmackDown was uh, 56. The week before was 57. The median age, that means half of the people watching are older. NXT was also 56. Raw is all over 50, but I don't know how much over 50. Um, those, are your three, those are your three shows. So, um, and, and AEW is aging too, but it's the youngest of, of, the, of the shows. But the point is, is like, it's essentially... You know, when you do that, the fact is, is that it's self-fulfilling prophecy in some ways, because when, you know, all these fans, they do know that's Jeff Jarrett's song and the Honky Tonk Man sh song, because that's most of the fans you got left. And that's the problem right there. It's like 18 to 49. Okay, that's, um, that's, you know, that, okay, just, just. This week's show was, was down 40% in 18 to 49 from last year, not from five years ago, from last year. In 18 to 34, it was down 52.5% from last year. Okay. So that's your decline in the key demos. Um, you know, so I don't know what that tells you, but you know, they're, that's why the audience is, is over 50 because they tell you like to those people, Oh yeah, Shawn Michaels, the greatest of all time, you know, and it's just like, you shouldn't be saying that you should be there should be 20 guys better than Shawn michaels in your mind but they don't let anyone be that you know um you know they you know it's like when they brought back rick flair and the big show and christian and got that good 
you know, by comparison, good number, you know, just a couple of weeks ago. Um, you know, that's what I said. They're going to get, they'll get two, three weeks out of this. And I think they got two, maybe they got three. And then it's going to be right where it was. And it was right where it was. And now it's worse because, of course, whenever you do stuff like that, in the long run, you do make it worse, you know, because you, re, you know, you're going back too many years and you're not making anything new exciting and the Rey Mysterio thing. I mean, like if you're a, a viewer, I mean, who does the Rey Mysterio thing like appeal to? It's like, it's like the bloodthirsty people have moved on because wrestling's not a bloodthirsty business. Dude, okay? look at what a, look at what a niche wrestling is right now. And you're targeting a niche in that niche, which is a wrestling. There's a wrestling fan that loves blood and guts. I mean, you know, it's it's the number yeah, of people I, that are I, show up I for don't, a I don't think death that the match. Rey, I don't think the Rey Mysterio thing appeals to anyone because number one, everyone knows it's fake. Number two, it's sort of like gross. Do you know what I mean? You know, like like an angle. You know, you can say in an angle, I'm going to like you know you know, whatever, I'm going to tear your bicep out. That's what Moxley did. It's another thing to say, I'm going to pull, pluck your eye out and you're not going to be able to see another sunset. I mean, that's just like, come on. Um, and I mean, I'm, I'm not saying that's the, the main reason, but you know, nothing's appealing. Um, I think the number will be up next week. They bet that number better be up for Randy Orton and big show when it, because if it's not Randy Orton, in the big show, Better be up from this week. Ugh. I'm not saying Dude, I'm a that. huge fan of Randy Orton, but I have zero interest in Randy Orton versus The Big Show in 2020. Zero. I, I well, they don't have that's just that's 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 a placeholder just to get Randy Orton, you know, another win before he gets to Drew. But you know, again, I don't know how big that'll be, but it's probably as big as anything they got. So, but yeah. I mean, Dude, it's, if it's, that's it's, as big as anything they got, then they're in big trouble. What, what's bigger? What do they got? What do they got with anyone that's under the age? And Randy's, I think, I think Randy is forty, but or we're, we're close to it. But um, who else? What do they got? What do they got? Bray Wyatt and Braun Strowman. Roman Reigns is gone for is gone for now. Um, what do they got? They have devalued Daniel Bryan. Um, they got. Uh, AJ Styles and Matt Riddle, I suppose. Um, but what do they got? I mean, realistically, what do they got? What are, what are they building to? What's the big, the big WrestleMania match that they're building to? They they don't got they. You know, bring back Brock Lesnar, I guess, right? You know, or, and uh, I don't know. You mean that the thing is, is that you've you've got to, you've got to constantly make stars. And when the mentality is, is that the brand is the star, you're in a combat sport environment, you're limiting your upside. And, um, you know, that's why we got what we got. But I mean, it's an unusual time too. I mean, it, it still would have declined, but the decline is more rapid than, than it would have been otherwise. But by the time, you know, by the time we we're we're in football season, so we're gonna we're gonna have football, baseball, hockey, and basketball. I think at the same time, are we? We're gonna have a lot of I, I don't we're we're gonna have a lot of sports at the same time, and you know basketball playoffs hurt wrestling a lot. Football hurts wrestling a lot. We're not even there yet, and this is what we got. This is this this is like July August. You know if if we didn't have. Um, you know, because basketball would be over by now, general basketball would be over in June. So this is like July, August is like the big rebound months. You know, you have that bad June, then July and August are real good, you know, and then September goes down from September to December. And then you get the bounce back in January. And we didn't get much of a bounce Barely. back this year. Barely this year, I know. But um and we probably won't next year either. But but we're you know, you wait till September comes around when you got Monday Night Football going against this thing. It's he's not, you know, it's going to get worse unless they make some stars, and unless the creative gets uh, better, because we've had some, you know, there's a lot of uninteresting stuff, but um, you know, guys not being able to do their own promos. I mean, all the things have been said for years. Three hours is too long, of course. 
It's another one. Um, I mean, there's no, there's no explanation that hasn't been said. And, you know, let's face it. I think when they went three hours all those years ago, you know, it's like I, I, I said what was going to happen. But, you know, I mean, I get it. I mean, you always take the short money. That's just always, it's always been like that in wrestling. It's always been like that in boxing. And it always will be. So they took the short money and now they're, you know, they've got this thing. And, you know, they're still, as far as, you know, whatever, when their contract's up, USA is still going to pay them unless USA is broke because USA ain't got any other hits. But, yeah, I mean, it is a sign that, you know, it's just, it's a sign things are declining, but uh, yeah, this was you know, this was enough of a decline. Um, other than, I mean, eighteen forty nine actually was only down a couple percents, like two percent from last week, but um, but I mean, like the young decline and the old, you know, the you know, this this week was mostly a decline of of teenagers and over fifties. Eighteen to forty nine was was only down. Um, I mean, 18 to 34 was down. 35 to 49 wasn't down. But, um, you know, it's, and, 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 um, women were, women were, let me was it up or down? Hold on. I actually got this stuff in front of me. Um, where were we? Um, nah, women were fine, normal. They, they weren't, they weren't, you know, um, teenage, in fact, teenagers, women were, 43 percent that's fine whatever um but yeah it's just it is just a pattern that we've got and um you know it will not you know uh what's the thing that that the famous saying that uh if you do the same thing over and over again you're you're stupid if you expect a different result somehow it's not going to change. I mean, I, you know, the one thing, though, is is, is with this decline, um, you know, and it is, it, it is, you know, the base is dwindling. Um, they did get rid of Heyman just a couple weeks ago for better numbers than this. So I wonder what that means um, for, because a couple weeks of this and, and Vince is going to need another scapegoat. And he's going to fire himself. So I wonder who the scapegoat's going to be. Um, I don't know. It, 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 there will be one, but I just don't know who.